guys this is Joe here and today we're doing a brand new tutorial and this tutorial is on how to set up auto saving on your Minecraft server so normally when you have a Minecraft server on your desktop auto say auto saving is not really there and when you normally go and buy a server for a server company like MC Pro Hosting they have an auto save feature built into their control panel so I'm just going to show you how I do it if I'm ever running a server and I, if, I, if I know it's going to crash so and there is only one plugin nine times out of ten every server will have this plugin and that plugin is essentials essentials X I prefer using and I'll put the link down and I'm going to show you which ones I get so you want to click on the uh, sort of the little man or Jenkins I think his name is and it will take it to this page and this is where you can look for all the updates at essentials X and you want to click on the latest one and then you want to click on which one you want to download. I'd always recommend Essentials, Essentials Chat, Essentials Protect, and Essentials Spawn. You don't need any other ones because some of them make a little bit funny. So yep, yeah, I recommend getting them. And all you got to do is drag them into your plugins folder as it's as it shows here. Once you've got that, you know you can start up your server. But to go into your plugins, go to your Essentials, and go into your config. Once you're in your config, you want to look for line uh, 326. So it can be a bit different, or if you, or normally you'll start off right at the top. Control F and just type in backup, and it'll come down. And as well, this editing program, what I'm using, I will put down a link down in the description. It's called Notepad++. So as you see here, it's got uh, the backup section interval, so you can change this to one minute and as well you know you can go through all the instructions but you want to get rid of this little hashtag in front of command so it goes blue and you just want to get rid of this bit here so that's 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 thing to do with backups but as far as i know it doesn't really work and you want to just replace it as it says there save dash all that just runs the save command without backup so save that click x and all you want to do is go back to your server Start your server up. I get a few errors when it starts off, but that's, that's just something wrong with my Java. You shouldn't have a problem with that. And now it's just a waiting game for like one minute. So I'm going to go a bit quiet and we'll wait for the config to, uh, or wait for the command to show up in the console. And there we go, as you see here, I've actually logged into my Minecraft account as well. Uh, it will say if you opt, it will give you a message, server saved uh, the world. And it will show in the console as well, saving, saved the world. So, saved the world. And so yeah, that is how to set it up. Uh, from what I've just seen there, I've just found another problem, or another thing. If there's no one online, I don't think it will save. So as long as there's someone online building, it will auto save for you. So yeah. That's how you do it, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be doing probably another tutorial on how to do kits in Essentials, hopefully next time. And if you if you guys have any you know ideas for any tutorials, please tell me, and I don't mind doing them. So yes, once again, make sure you subscribe, like, favorite, and go follow me on Twitter. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.